Is it okay to be late for a first date? Advice for young daters. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the age-old question that has crossed everyone's mind at some point. Is it okay to be fashionably late for your first date? We're talking about the nerves, the expectations, and of course, the claw. Let's jump right into it. Picture this, it's your first date. Your heart's pounding, and you're running a little behind schedule. Is it the end of a world, or just a minor hiccup in the grand scheme of things? Well, buckle up, because we're about to find out. Certainly, let's dive deeper into each segment. Number one, the anatomy of first date jitters asterisk asterisk. First date jitters are a universal experience, and it's crucial to acknowledge them. The combination of excitement and anxiety can sometimes be overwhelming. The idea here is to convey that feeling nervous before a date is completely normal and relatable. By addressing these jitters, the script aims to create a sense of understanding among the audience. According to an expert interview, psychologist or relationship coach, the expert provides a professional perspective emphasizing that these nerves are natural. Additionally, the expert suggests that arriving a bit late might serve as a strategy for some individuals to compose themselves before the day, turning the nervous energy into a more collected mindset. Number two, the importance of timing asterisk asterisk. Timing is a critical aspect of the dating scene. This segment aims to explore the age-old debate of whether punctuality is the key to a successful first impression or if being fashionably late adds a touch of mystery and charm. The goal is to present different viewpoints on this matter. I was asking some friends about their views on punctuality, person A. I think being on time shows respect for the other person, person B. A little lateness can be forgiven but not too much. It's about finding a balance. Person C. Honestly, I appreciate it when someone is fashionably late. It makes things more interesting. Number three, the culture of punctuality, asterisk, asterisk. This segment broadens the discussion by bringing cultural influences into play. Different cultures have different perceptions of time and this can significantly impact expectations on a first date. The script aims to highlight the importance of understanding and respecting cultural diversity in the dating world. According to an expert interview, cultural anthropologist or sociologist, an expert in cultural studies provides insights into how cultural norms shape our views on time. By acknowledging and respecting these differences, this script encourages the audience to consider the cultural context when it comes to punctuality in the dating scene. Number four, mailing the first impression asterisk asterisk. Building on the previous segments, this part emphasizes that the first impression is not solely determined by punctuality. The script seeks to explore the multifaceted nature of first impressions and how various factors contribute to creating a positive experience. According to a dating expert or blogger, a guest with expertise in the dating scene adds valuable insights, stressing that while punctuality matters, it's not the sole factor in making a memorable first impression. The script encourages the audience to focus on overall demeanor, body language, and genuine engagement to leave a positive impact. Number five, recovery mode. If you're running late asterisk asterisk, this practical segment provides tips and tricks for those moments when unforeseen circumstances lead to tardiness. The goal is to offer actionable advice on how to recover gracefully from being late, ensuring that the date can still start on a positive note tips and tricks, on-screen graphics with helpful advice. The video outlines practical steps individuals can take if they find themselves running late. From effective communication to sincere apologies, the emphasis is on salvaging the situation and making the most of the time spent together. 
These tips aim to provide a proactive approach to handling unexpected delays. Some other tips and tricks. 1. Communicate. Shoot a quick text or call to let your date know you're running a bit behind. 2. Apologize sincerely. When you arrive, offer a genuine apology and let them know you value their time. 3. Dive in. Once you're there, focus on making the most of the time you have. A positive attitude goes a long way. As we wrap up our journey into the world of first date timing, it's evident that the question of whether it's okay to be fashionably late isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. We've explored the nerves that precede a first date, the significance of timing, cultural influences, and the intricacies of making a lasting first impression. The key takeaway here is that dating is a nuanced dance, and there's no universal rule carved in stone. It's about finding a balance that works for you and your date. Remember, it's not just about the clock ticking away, but the moments you create together. So, whether you're an early bird, a fashionably late enthusiast, or simply someone trying to navigate the unpredictable path of love, the most important thing is to be authentic. Embrace your quirks, acknowledge the nerves, and savor the unpredictability of the journey. In the grand scheme of things, being fashionably late or punctual is just a small part of the bigger picture. What truly matters is the connection you build, the laughter you share, and the memories you create. Love doesn't always follow a script, and sometimes the most beautiful moments happen when you least expect them. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, this is your name, signing off. Stay fabulous, everyone.